What's going on, everybody? Once again, this is Polo Gold. Praise one, love one, God only. And before I do continue, I must give all glory and honor and praise to God, my creator, my master, the most high, my universe. Oh, yes. Amazing things are happening today, and I'm so excited, starting with the blessing and be able to wake up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And right now, I'd like to give a couple special shout-outs to Alex Alejandro Lopez. What's up, my brother? It was great seeing you yesterday, champ. Oh, man, very proud of you. All that hard work that you put up and you, you, you were willing to go through, it's paying off, huh, brother? Keep it going. Keep it going, baby. You got this. You got this. Yes, I'm very proud of you, man. It's not luck, man. You're putting in that hard work. You're laying down those tracks. You're keeping your head down, and doors will open. Yes, and also thank you for sending me uh, the the information or the link towards uh, a gentleman called Wes uh, Wes Watson, I believe. He has a channel on uh, YouTube called GP uh, Prison, GP Prison Life. Oh man, you guys need to check him out. He's on fire, man. Another gentleman. Good job, brother. Another gentleman that's willing to go through the changes mentally. And give himself a try, a chance, and try a new way, a new life. Instead of breaking people down, but building others up. Good job. Good job, Wes. And also, Gabriel Treviso. Oh, man. Every time I speak to you, brother, it's just amazing, brother. Oh, man, I'm so proud of you. And I appreciate the hard work that you're willing to go through and put all the effort that you're putting in good job brother good job let's keep it going baby we got this we got this champ yeah let's get it done let's get it done yes 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 so once again um how you do anything is how you do everything oh my goodness how you do anything is how you do everything if you do what do you do when you wake up are you moaning and groaning oh man oh man oh poor me are you being a victim or are you waking up, waking up and being grateful and walking through your day with an attitude of gratitude? It depends, man. It depends how you think and how you act and, and how you wake up. Because once again, how you do anything is how you do everything. Okay? Yeah. Now, up to now, you see my videos and I've been able to walk you through uh, the power of forgiveness, the power of letting go, uh, the power of, of, of doing what's right and... and and I, I'll be the first to admit that on videos everything looks fine, everything looks great because you're seeing you're seeing one aspect, right? But let me be the first to admit it. I have my bad days too. I have my trials and tribulations. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Believe me, yes, I do. But now I focus on utilizing every opportunity, whether good or bad, to bring out the best version of me. And I challenge myself every day when I wake up after giving thanks to make this day go down in history as a win, as a win. And the wins can be accumulated by little wins, little wins and victor and victories, little, little wins throughout the day. And once again, minor adjustments leading to major improvements. So one of them is when I wake up and I'm like, just so grateful to be alive. I actually count down five, four, three, two, one, let's go. And I jump out of bed and I say, I say, I am free, yes. Yes, now, when, and I start giving thanks, and I get on my knees, and I start praying, and I say, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, thank you, thank you for this opportunity, because the blessing is to be able to wake up, and the rest requires action, and that action is hard, oh, it's hard, but it's not about, and when I say hard, you guys, I'm not talking about picking up a hammer, or, 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 or your nine to five, no, but actually the mental and breaking those mental barriers, the emotional barriers that we have put up, that, that we have accumulated and breaking through them because once again, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. So if, if I'm in the world and something, an obstacle comes my way or adversity and I'm like, oh no, poor me, poor me, then I'm in the world. But if I plug into God, the master, the creator, the most high, and I remember that he made greatness when he made me, when he made you, when he made you, when he made me, he made a great product, the greatest product ever. So there's greatness within us, yes. And there's no weapon formed against me that should ever prosper, never. 
and I can do anything and everything through Jesus Christ that dwells within me. So once I put my mind to it and I'm committed to myself and I decide to realize anything that I do is how I do everything. Oh man, and that, that starts from when you wake up and throughout the day, if I have a, a, a disagreement or a misunderstanding with somebody, I can't be blowing up. I, I've learned to count to 10, breathe and let it go. And if I have to walk away, walk away. But believe me, if I need to make amends, then I got to go back and be as a man and say, you know what? I want to make amends. I want to ask for forgiveness. Or you know what? This was a misunderstanding. I don't know what's going on. Can we talk? Now, if, if we're able to do that and another person is able to do that, good. But if that person's not able to do that, then I just bless him and I forgive him. And I send blessings his way because not everybody's going to be at that level. Not everybody's going to be at that level. Okay, and as you continue to change and continue to grow and self-improve every day, then you're going to be growing and other people are going to be left behind uh, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And they're not going to understand you and they're going to be testing you every day. But it's okay. Welcome it because that means you're on the right path. Oh, yes, because we are conquerors. We are royalty. We are kings and queens. I command you, all my kings and queens, to rise and wake up and let's get it done. Let's get it done. Now, also up to now, well, um, you know, I've been able to share with you uh, the frequencies and vibrations of, of the healing that we, what we hear and what we listen to, right? But now let me show you something else that I'm very proud of. During uh, what's going on, we've been able to have a couple of little projects in the house. Are you having projects in your, in your house? Are you, are you working together with a family? Or are you isolating yourself? Are you still like mm, throwing a fit, uh, being mal, mal criado? Uh, resentments and stuff like that renegando or are you being focusing are you focusing on the solution because we are solution makers yeah problems will arise but if i choose and i challenge myself to focus on the solution so here we go here we go look look at what we're doing and i think that's pause behind me somewhere i think i heard him but anyways look at what we're doing look this is one one project that we started right after the quarantine or what have you there's dirt here and there was grass. All of it was grass. But we noticed that some of the grass was dead. So, Pops, 75 year old man, and another brother in Christ, Jose Lopez, who's 65 years old, who has stage four terminal cancer, but he doesn't choose to make excuses. But instead, when he wakes up, he says, I'm alive, I'm awake, and I feel great. We've been attacking this little by little so we can extend it. That way we have more time to talk and, and laugh and bond. Bonding, right? And bonding. Because if we knock it out too quick, then we're going to find another project. But we're going to do this little by little, right? So we took away the, the grass that was here. We threw away the bad part. And then we're, we're planning, we're planning the, the good, healthy soils. Uh, uh, grass and look at we still have this part to go look at this and we're, we're attacking it little by little now when this is going on i could have just stayed in my room over there and be like no i can't do nothing because i'm legally blind or what can i do to help or i can't do nothing nah forget about that i come out here i put on put on my shoes i lace them up because when you stay ready you don't got to get ready and i know how to get a shovel I know how to participate. I know how to get the, the trash can and fill it up. I know how to get a broom. I'm not afraid to get dirty, but it's right here, right? It's right here. Am I gonna play the victim? Or, or, or am I gonna be victorious like we we're created to be, okay? Also, we're learning how to clean the pool now. now that's not a big deal, but hey, better, better late than never. We already drained the pool. We already did the acid wash. We cleaned it. And now it's kind of clean, I think. It's kind of sparkling clean, right? Um, little things, little projects. But what it is, we're bonding together. We're uniting. Because this is the best time ever to really dig deep and let go of all the unnecessary emotional baggage that we don't need and let it go completely. Because times like this will never happen. And these are precious times, precious moments filled with quality of time, with the freedom that we have with our family and our loved ones, right? So remember, when I say work, I don't mean uh, uh, breaking concrete. No, it's the mental work. It's the mental work that we're, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to go through. And I'm not saying all this just to impress you. No, but it's it, like Les Brown, it's to impress upon you. 
Like Les Brown always says, I'm not here to impress you, but impress upon you that the power that we have. Yes, yes. And look, check it out right here. Here's the gym. Here's the gym. There's my bench. There's my weights. There's my pull-up bar and my dip bar where I do dips and pull-ups. And my and my and my bench and my and my my dumbbells and my curling bar. Okay? Right? Because what happens? What happens? Huh? What happens? Uh what happens when you get stressed out? Or I'll talk about me, alright? Because I'm pretty sure no one's ever felt like this, but what what would happen when I would get stressed out? I would just blow up and and and, and just blow out of proportion or what happens if I have, when I felt anxious huh and I felt that energy that 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 anxiousness well I learned that it's a good routine and a good idea to wake up and exercise and work on your body and expel those emotions of fear or anxiousness and to work it out and let it go okay cuz once again they told me I was I had I have cirrhosis of the liver my kidneys were 6 to 7 times the normal size of a of the normal uh, kidneys uh, I'm legally blind and they told me I had diabetes all in the same month yeah but you know what I never took the metformin pill 1000 milligrams never what I did I started drinking water no more alcohol no more drugs I started exercising lost 50 pounds what you see right now it took me almost about 8 years it doesn't happen overnight. Anything easy is greasy and I don't want it. But it's long term, baby. Long term. Vision. Vision. Once again, the physical sight they say I lack does not compare to the vision that I have. And that is God, family, then business. Yes. So now this is the time to come together within yourself. To come up with ideas. Uh, ideas, projects, entrepreneurship. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, start to learn how to manage your money right. Yes, yes. And get out of debt. Yes, save for an emergency. Save for your future. Yes, yes. This is the time now. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. And, and then after, our project is going to be to paint this. You see this little, 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 little gazebo, this little type of thing? Paint it. Yeah, I'm not going to be afraid of that. I'll get on the ladder. I'll sand it down. Why? Because these are seeds that have been planted onto me. And these are going to be memories. And my, inher my inheritance is going to be the memories that I have with my people. With my mom. With my, with my dad. With my brother. Jose. And with all my brothers and sisters that are in a struggle. And they're doing it. So let's, let's make it happen. Let's do this. Oh yeah. To God be the glory. Yes. We are blessed and unstoppable. Oh yes. 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 The time is now. There is no better time than now. And once again, how you do anything is how you will do everything. You wake up complaining, you're going to have a negative day. If something happens when you wake up, then you let it go and you press the reset button and you go once again, once again, once again, and you start over again and you get it done. Oh yes. Oh yes. And we don't go to sleep when we're tired. We go to sleep when we're done. Thank you, Eric Thomas. Oh, yes. So once again, this is Polo Go. Praise one. Love one. God only. Yes, and I'm on a mission to bring hope to as many people in my, and their families that I can because our communities are being taken advantage of. And that's not going to happen on my watch. Yes, so here we go. Let's get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go.